A former Grayson High School assistant football coach tells the Fox 5 I team he had nothing to do with convincing an impressive list of big time players to suddenly transfer to his school. A Kenyatta Watson was removed from his volunteer job with the team after allegations of illegal recruiting surfaced back in February. Well, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says his departure has only fueled more speculation from rival programs. Right? That's right, Russell Sine. Yeah, so many big time players have transferred to Grayson that some students and coaches have referred to the school on Twitter as the University of Grayson. The Georgia High School Association says if you're a coach or a parent or even a team booster, you can't influence someone to transfer to your school. But in the new world of social media, where is the line between right and wrong? I'll take a polygraph. I'll pay for it. Never recruited a kid to come to Grayson. Kenyatta Watson played receiver in college, but these days he's playing defense, vowing to clear his name and a program he's promoted for years. It's not my fault. Don't blame me. Coach Watson, uh, here with the Grayson Rams, class 2019. Standing in front of the green and gold Grayson Rams logo in this 2014 YouTube video, Watson pushes a winning product. We have a phenomenal group of parents, um, a lot of them who moved into the Grayson area from other areas just to be a part of the program. Moving to Grayson to be part of the program. Plenty of families change school districts because of work or the economy or a better football team. In Georgia, a coach or a booster is not allowed to influence that decision for a high school athlete. If they're caught, the student and the new school can be penalized. According to documents obtained by the Fox 5i team, the Georgia High School Association and Gwinnett County administrators began receiving complaints in January about Grayson High School and their new assistant coach in charge of college football advice, Kenyatta Watson. We're going to talk about what it takes to be a successful Division I athlete. Watson uses YouTube and other social media to offer free college recruiting help to high school players. His tweets include pictures of Watson holding recruiting seminars for any interested kid, even ones who don't attend Grayson. I got messages from kids from all over the county reaching out to me, hey coach, can you pass my film on to X school? And I do it. That's not wrong. But according to this memo from the Gwinnett County Athletic Director, South Gwinnett head coach John Small complained in January that Kenyatta Watson approached the father of a South Gwinnett player at a photo shoot and said his son would look good in green and gold, Grayson's colors. I talked to that father. He asked me not to use his name because he didn't want his son involved, but he repeated that green and gold comment from Coach Watson. He even said Watson indicated his son would be missing out on a state championship this year. A Gwinnett School spokesperson told us this incident, along with some other concerns, led Watson being told it was in the best interest of the program if he no longer helped with the program. Did you ever tell a South Gwinnett player during that photo shoot that he'd look good in green and gold? Never. Where would Coach Small get this? I don't know. Where, where are they getting the fact that I recruited the kids here? We kept digging. According to the school memo, Grayson AD Brian DeBerry admitted he was having a hard time scheduling games with other Gwinnett schools because they were concerned about a coach, Watson, at Grayson recruiting players. Then in early February, Central Gwinnett head coach Todd Wofford emailed the Georgia High School Association, complaining that one of his players, Eugene Maffa, decided to transfer to Grayson after attending a Kenyatta Watson recruiting seminar. When Wofford asked why, he says Maffa told him, Kenyatta can get me what I need. But Maffa told the Fox 5 I team he never mentioned Watson when he told his coach he was leaving. And Watson denies ever encouraging the player to come to Grayson. Prove that I did it. That's my point. All, everything that every coach is saying is hearsay. There's no text messages, there's no emails, there's no voicemails, there's no pictures with me with kids. Is there proof that you've had contact with these kids? There's nothing. Where is it? Show me. We did. On social media, on right. Twitter, right. you follow seven of these kids who transferred to Grayson. Right. Six of them follow you back. Right. And you're saying you don't have a relationship with That's them? That's not a relationship. And, and, and they followed me first. And he stressed there were no direct messages between him and those players. Should an assistant coach ever put himself in a position to be interacting on social media with players from rival schools? Several coaches I talked to say they'd never allow their assistants to do something like that. But Kenyatta Watson insists everything was above board and he was only offering encouragement or helpful college advice. I post a lot of stuff about kids doing exceptional things. That doesn't mean I recruited him. It's true, many of the players who transferred to Grayson certainly didn't need any college recruiting tips. They already had multiple offers. Kickoff time in Ram Country. 
and players and parents have consistently maintained no one at Grayson recruited them to come. If so, GHSA could make them sit out a year. With this coincidence, we all moved in the air at the same time. That was former Peachtree Ridge receiver D'Angelo Gibbs after Grayson's spring game this year. He's considered a five-star college prospect. Everybody just happened to, you know, end up in over here. Hey, hey, I ain't know you was coming here. Hey, no, so that's how I went. In February, after those first four blue chip transfers arrived on campus, Watson and Grayson parted ways. Although he says it was his decision, not the school's. He still has a son on the team. In the months since Watson moved on, four more star players have left their high schools for Grayson. You need somebody to blame because nobody can understand why all of a sudden all of these kids want to come to Grayson. Ooh, great question. But now that I'm not there, why are kids still coming to Grayson? If people would focus on their program, okay, and, and, and building a top tier program, then you wouldn't have to worry about your kids leaving your program to go anywhere. So it's their fault. Period. Too. Absolutely. It's not your fault. No, it ain't my fault. I didn't make them come anywhere. Now, at least one Gwinnett High School has removed Grayson from their ninth grade and JV program because of all of this this season. I also want to tell you that there's a Central Gwinnett player who also transferred to Grayson. His name is Tony Gray. Mm -hmm. He has been told by school police not to come back to Central Gwinnett or he will be arrested. It all stems from a video that he made after he transferred, sort of uh, boasting about his transfer to Grayson. And uh, the video was seen by some of the players there at Central Gwinnett. He went back to Central Gwinnett for the spring game. There was a verbal altercation, I was told. So he's been told if he goes back to that campus, he'll be arrested for criminal trespass. Wow. That's how serious the situation is now in Gwinnett County. Well, given that it is so serious, is there any consideration of limiting the number of students who can transfer to any given school, i.e. Yeah. Grayson? There's been some talk, and we actually reported this uh, a few months ago in an earlier investigation, about perhaps giving the existing coach, the original coach, some sort of veto power over allowing the kid to move to another school. We'll talk a lot more about that tomorrow night when our investigation continues. Yeah. But if the parents legitimately move, it's hard to see what we can do, really. Right. It should be okay. But we'll talk about that more tomorrow night. Right. Randy, All thanks right. for having me. Thanks, Randy.